Another Christmas over and a whole new year begun. How's it going, old schoolers? You are kicking it old school. I'm your host, Russell J.S. I want to do a video for you <clears throat> on some... <clears throat> on some things that I ended up getting for Christmas and some things I want to share with you that you know you only see out at Christmas time and it's kind of, some of it's got some old school goodness to it but um yeah for Christmas you know I was given gifts from the seasonal gift aisle you know I got like this uh this wooden pinball game right here that I told you about it's like the old school style home pinball Funny thing about these is, you know, back in the day, the 40s and the 50s, I think, you know, kids, when they challenged each other, they had to, you know, they had to have a pad and paper to write down their scores so they could tally up, you know, how much points they got. I mean, you could see, like, there's no flippers and no scoreboard on it, you know, and then I got this other one right here, which, you know, it's another wooden pinball game. It's called Arcade Pinball. And this has spring-loaded flippers and the, you know, plunger to shoot the ball out and everything. And it's kind of like the same deal in a way where the ball goes to these little pits here where, you know, you get the points. And again, I think what you had to do back then is you had to write down your, you know, how much you scored when you got done playing your game. And then there are these other two that I found that I got. This one called Rebound, which is kind of similar to a skee-ball game. I find that to be a lot of fun, too. I don't know, I love a lot of this nostalgic, you know... I mean, these are great novelties, you know, you could have at a party, and you could put up on a shelf for decor as a conversation piece, kind of like my basic funds and my, my arcade microplayers. But this one intrigues me the most, this one called Bounce. Because it reminds me of the shuffleboard table that you would find, like, in a bar room. I mean, I used to love playing with my share of shuffleboard. But the ones I want to show you the most, you know, that these are called seasonal gifts because they only put them out at Christmas time, thinking that's the only time they're going to sell. But in my opinion, a lot of stuff like this, I think that could sell all year round. I mean, that would be a good Mother's Day gift or a Father's Day gift, a birthday gift or Valentine's Day gift. But other ones I want to show, show you that I've acquired over the last few years are great for parties. So without further ado, let's check these bad Oscars out, shall we? Ugh! Don't pay attention to the laboratory. I'm cleaning again. And, you know, I've just been, you know... Try and get over the holidays and lots going on, you know. It was election year and, you know, in November and everything and Christmas and, you know, we're still going through the whole pandemic thing. First one I want to show you, it's this one called the Arcade Shooter, which this one in particular, you know, what you do is you take one of these balls and you, you know, you got to be careful. You catapult it, you know. <laughs> uh, I got the tablet in one hand, and I'm doing this with the other, as usual. Oh, well, I'd scored zero, but, yeah, you got six chances to, you know, make a high score, like in, like a regular arcade. You know, this is something you'd find in an arcade, like Ski Ball. But one in particular that I had acquired, that I, you know, it's become my favorite is this baseball one right here. It's kind of got, it's kind of like got that pinball feel to it. But the whole point is, you know, you go ahead and spring load one of these balls. Well, you know, here. And you try to score a home run. I actually find this to be real fun too, and it's the same thing. You gotta make up your own scores, all that other stuff. Another one that would be from a, bl a blast from the past, though, is the Labyrinth, the Wooden Labyrinth. I found this one at Toys R Us just months before they closed, and I guess the object is, is you have to roll the ball with these knobs and everything and twist and turn the Labyrinth to get to the finish line right there. And I'll tell you, you know, compared to a lot of stuff that you know, we have versus what 
say our parents had or our grandparents had. I don't know, for some reason I find a lot of these things to be a lot more fun and enjoyable and educational. And moving right along, I want to show you this one right here, this mini air hockey table thing. One thing I like is when you score a goal, you know, you can, you know, you could go ahead and, you know, rank up your points. And it's just like regular air hockey that you would find in an arcade. And, you know, it's got a switch with a battery. <clears throat> it, takes a, it takes one AA battery to power. And it's just like your average air hockey table. You know, the pucks move around and you, you know. But the one that I have the most that I really do treasure in this collection. I mean, I'm really starting to have a collection of this whole thing of nostalgia goodness and greatness. <clears throat> One I want to show you that I rarely, <clears throat> the, la the Labyrinth Maze is also one too that I rarely put out, and I'm going to explain to you why. But let me show you this one. This is my favorite bad Oscar right here. This, I believe it's six and one. You got billiards, and you got, I mean, look at, I mean, any of these right here, you could have a full fledged party. Invite friends, make nachos with salsa, and, you know, have them bring their own drinks and everything like that. And you could have, you know, a really good, clean, fun, old-fashioned American house party. I mean, this one right here, I want to show you. Let me show you the box, what this is. It's called the Executive Game Table. Six in one. And this thing, it contains, you know, one pool stick, though. But it has all the balls for to play billiards. You could play chess. You could play checkers, backgammon, solitaire, nine men's Morris Mullen, which I don't know what that is. Probably some European game. But you see, I rarely bring this the pool table one out is because, well, when Toys R Us closed their doors, this is exclusive Toys R Us, Toys R Us merch from Pavilion Games, which was affiliated with Toys R Us. And, you know, Toys R Us, pretty much, you know, stuff like this, they, they had all year round. But, you know, unfortunately, Toys R Us had closed down, you know, because they weren't getting any business. But I hear they're coming back. I don't know. I'm not holding my breath. I mean, like, I would go to Toys R Us to get stuff from my daughter, you know, unique things. And I would also find stuff at Toys R Us, like... I first found the My Arcade Micro Players there. And then Walmart started picking them up. And, you know, it's like... I'd find, you know, Toys R Us had more than just for kids. They also had for, you know, collectibles for adults as well. But unfortunately, they closed their doors because they weren't getting enough business. But... Yeah, you look at you look at some of this stuff. I mean, look at these items that I have placed here on the bed. My goodness, you can have you could have a full party going on. You know, like I said, you can make nachos, make drinks, put some good tunes on the radio. I mean, two you and a friend can be be playing eight ball. Two friends could be playing chess or checkers while two friends play backgammon. And then two friends right here can go ahead and play air hockey. I mean, what I got going on here, it's like, God, I should be having a party right now. You know, one would think. And then, you know, do these little skill things. Yeah, I mean, I can remember. I remember seeing a lot of this stuff when I'd go Christmas shopping. And my ex-fiance, I would point out, hey, if you have any... Christmas gift ideas right here. And you know, I'd find them in Walgreens and CVS, Walmart, Target, you know. And it's all sad thing is it's only at the Christmas season. But you know, hey, they don't think that it's going to sell, but if you look up the company that makes them, I'm sure you can, you know, look them up on the internet and probably find them on Amazon or something like that. 
and have it shipped to your door. But I'm really getting into collecting this kind of stuff. I mean, when I get done using it, I put it away, you know, immediately because it comes with small parts and I don't want to lose anything like, you know, pawns and balls and things like that. But yeah, you know, I rarely do break out the pool table. But I did, I did break it out, you know, when we had the pandemic and they were shutting things down. And, <clears throat> you know, hey, they are a lot of fun. You know, you can, like I said, you know, invite, a, you know, have a party, invite about 10 or 12 of your friends over and, you know, you just have a few, you know, have a few drinks and have some chips and dip and everything and, again, put on some tunes. This is a video that I've been wanting to, you know, put out, you know, like, collecting this stuff. Don't mind me, I'm, uh, I'm a little tired right now, but, but yeah, you know, like, this is stuff that would look good on a coffee table or on a shelf, you know, and, you know, you could have that there, and, you know, your friends could be playing these, and, you know, you just, you know, have the greatest house party ever. I mean, heck, break out a karaoke machine and sing some songs, you know? <laughs> but, you know, a lot, you know, with it being 2021, I am hoping that, you know, 2021 bring some good stuff, you know, I just hope for the best, and I'm hoping to do a travel video soon, you know, like, I was gonna go last year and do some travel videos, I want, you know, I kept on talking about it last year, but again, the pandemic hit, and the closest traveling I really did was I drove up to Pensacola to meet up to bring my daughter and her brother down for a week, and then drive back to Pensacola, and I, both weekends I stayed overnight, and, you know, and then I came back here, and that was the most traveling I did, and, well, it, I, I gotta say, you know, tra doing a road trip like that, you know, it depends on what kind of car you drive, and how much money you have to spend, you know, to have some place to stay, eat, and maybe collect souvenirs or something, where have you been? But it was, it's a nice relaxing thing once in a while. I borrowed my mother's Kia and left her with my with Mustang Sally because I don't think Mustang Sally would have really made it. But, you know, yeah, I would probably make about three gas trips with Mustang Sally. I made one gas trip both times with a Kia. And I'm not really a big fan of Kias. <laughs> but, you know, a lot of stuff I have planned. I know I had a lot of stuff planned last year, too, but it all got postponed. The inevitable was delayed, but I do have some things in the work pretty soon. So anyway, you know, it was, I figured it would be time for me to make a video. And of course, you know, my ultimate goal, I don't know which video this is going to be, but my ultimate goal is I want to get at least 100 videos made on this channel. And then maybe make a secondary channel where I could do traveling and see cool things. Sky's the limit, you know? I mean, I've got... I've had people see my channel and tell me, Oh, you got kids stuff and you're a grown man, blah, blah, blah. You know what? The way I figure it... You know, this is America, man. We could do whatever we want, what we feel. And nobody could take that away. You know? And we could do whatever we want to express ourselves... But, I've been doing good, you know. I have been. I'm planning on driving up to Mississippi or maybe flying up there to go see my daughter, you know, sometime in the summer for a week. Depends on how things go. I gotta save up money for that. I mean, lots of things I got brewing. So anyway, you know, as usual, if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. Hit a like comment and you know hit that notification bell for more upcoming videos anyway you know this is your old pal russell js uh once again i want to wish you a happy new year and may the good lord bring us all good things this year and you know take care of you and your families and i'll i also want to wish you all as usual godspeed
and may the Force be with you, always.